Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. And I'd like to formally welcome you to the press conference to introduce the 19th head coach in Siena men's basketball history, Jerry McNamara. Again, whether you're joining us here today in person or for those watching home online on Siena All Access, we thank you for joining us and being a part of this historic day, or as we always like to say here at Siena, a great day to be a Saint. We'd also like to extend a special thank you as well to the presenting sponsor of Siena Men's Basketball, Broadview Federal Credit Union, who's also with us here today. This time, we have a couple of speakers uh, who will come up and offer their remarks, at which point, once we conclude the formal remarks, we'll have an opportunity for breakaway interviews with the media. First, though, I'd like to start things off by welcoming up the Deputy Executive of Albany County, Mike McLaughlin. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Mike McLaughlin, Deputy County Executive, Siena Class of 07. Uh, you know, usually, my college friends don't really care what I do, but they seem, I think they're going to care today. Um, yeah, half our time was spent watching the Saints, and the other half was spent watching uh, this fine gentleman. Um, you know, it, the big thing these days is deep threes. And in my mind, uh, this gentleman was the one who kind of uh, got that rolling, I think. So uh, having him come here as a coach is, is fantastic. So uh, thank you for having me. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning. Um, on behalf of County Executive Dan McCoy, it's fantastic to be here for this announcement. Um, today's an exciting day, uh, not only for the Capital Region, but for basketball lovers all around. Uh, as a Siena alum, as I mentioned, I'm excited uh, for the official announcement of a uh, new coach, uh, Jerry McNamara, uh, as head coach of uh, my alumnus, uh, Siena Saints. Um, and of course, uh, having him here in this fantastic uh, MVP arena. This arena has been the home of the Saints since 97, uh, and the partnership between the arena uh, and Siena has given Albany a national reputation as a college basketball town. Just last week, we hosted the NCAA Division I Women's Regional, which brought 53,000 attendees over four days to the area. Albany County has a passionate fan base, uh, and I look forward uh, to Coach McNamara helping Siena reach new heights uh, and uh, certainly re-energize uh, not that they need it, uh, the fan base. Uh, Coach McNamara brings a wealth of experience from his two decades uh, at Syracuse University, first as a talented player uh, and later as an assistant head coach. Coach McNamara started all 135 uh, games of his career, uh, an Ironman of uh, the University of Syracuse, and remains the fourth leading scorer in Syracuse history. Holds the uh, all-time record uh, for three-pointers as well. Capital Region will continue to enjoy great college basketball right here in downtown Albany, uh, and we'll be able to watch the Siena Saints men's basketball team continue to thrive uh, under their new coach and his leadership. So thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much, the Deputy County Executive. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome up the General Manager of MVP Arena, Bob Belber. Thank you very much, Jerry. I'd like to welcome you here to MVP Arena for, I don't know how many times it's been now, but I, I remember the most important one. In 2003, we were, those of us that were here had an incredible time during that weekend, uh, not unlike the weekend we just had here, but I will tell you, I moved on to New Orleans and saw you win it all uh, that year in 2003 with your team from Syracuse. And I don't think I've ever seen a better three-point three point shooting guard than, than what you were and no doubt probably still are. <laughs> On behalf of the MVP Arena staff, I'd just like to say welcome to your new home. Uh, I try to say that to every Siena alum and every Siena person that comes in, welcome home when they come in and set foot in the building. Um, my 30th year here, um, it's been special with John Darginio. Uh, I remember back in 1996 when we first started talking about bringing all the games here, 
And to have Jerry here as the leader of the men's basketball team is going to be just fantastic for Siena College and for MVP Arena and for this market. And so I give you all the best going forward and whatever we can do from the arena to help with recruits or with anything that you need, you've got it and we wish you the best. Thanks, Bob. We're also pleased to have with us today the commissioner of the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, Travis Teletasi. Well, thank you, Mike, and uh, excited to extend uh, my stay here in Albany for, for another day. This is truly a special moment. W wanted to start this afternoon just by thanking a few people. First of all, uh, thanking President Seaford and John and Siena College and all of the volunteers and staff. Uh, thank you to Bob, MVP Arena, and really the city of Albany uh, for all their hard work of, of what happened here over the last four days. Uh, to make the NCAA Women's Basketball Super Regional in Albany a success. Past four days of, of sold-out crowds were truly remarkable, and I want to thank all of the fans in Albany. I understand the significance of basketball in this region, and it's evident that last night and the previous three days will leave a lasting impact on the region. Speaking of memorable moments uh, that are talked about often in the Capital Region, Last night's atmosphere was very reminiscent of a game that I had the opportunity to attend 21 years ago. I was a junior in college and a volunteer stat runner for Jason Rich here at the Pepsi Arena for the 2003 NCAA Men's Basketball Regional that featured a very pro Syracuse crowd. It's mind blowing for me after 21 years, I'd go from stat runner to commissioner and that I'd be welcoming one of the stars on that national championship team as the head men's basketball coach of Siena College. These are exciting times, not only for Siena, but for the MAC as well. We're nearing the end of our strategic planning process, which has given us an opportunity to take a fresh look at all facets of the conference. As a basketball-centric conference, um, we look forward to continue to enhance the reputation and standard of excellence across the league. I look forward to working with Jerry, all of our head coaches, our athletic directors, our presidents, to continue to elevate MAC basketball. On behalf of the conference, I'd like to welcome Jerry, Katie, and their children to the MAC. I have no doubt that the MAC Namaris will fit in well. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Commissioner Talatashi. I think we're gonna have a lot of play on words we can use here. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, please join me in welcoming up uh, Siena College President Chuck Seifert. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, I was here last night and what excitement and just what a wonderful environment and it's wonderful to see it here again today. This is absolutely fantastic. So the 54,000, we'll blow that out of the water. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Class of 2007, what was your major? All right. <laughs> I wonder if you ever took me. That was the. Uh, uh, okay. No, we're okay. So, um, but please, um, um, thank you all for being here. It's absolutely wonderful to um, invite the members of the press, our board of trustees, our faculty, our students, community members, our friends, and my dog Baloo over there with Charles. So, um, I'm so glad that you are all here to to help us celebrate this very very important event. Siena College basketball obviously holds a very special place um, for Siena College and um, the larger capital district and the overarching community. We know about our, our success dating all the way back to our early days in 1950. We were the um, Catholic um, National Catholic International Champions in 1950. And then more recently, we've had um, five NIT bids and we played in the NCAA um, six different times. Um, all of those different events have really helped put Siena College and this area on the map. We're equally proud, obviously, of our academic excellence and our commitment to service from our student athletes and all community members. Um, this rich history is our backdrop. Today we stand really at the precipice of a very promising future as our men's basketball program embarks on this next important journey. It is with immense pride and profound confidence 
that we welcome Jerry McNamara as Siena College's next basketball head coach. What's really important to understand is we don't just welcome Jerry into our, uh, as our basketball coach, but we welcome him and his entire family to our Siena community. So welcome. Interestingly, they raided our bookstore and now all have Siena gear. I'm sure you had that before your visit, I'm sure. Um, Jerry's really a champion on and off the court. Uh, he illustrates his absolutely wonderful career at um, Syracuse University. It's really a testament to his exceptional abilities, but also his leadership, his caring, and his dedication to the mentoring and the development of the student athletes. His success mirrors um, not only his commitment, but also Siena's values and our commitment to our athletic um, success, as well as our students' growth and development over time. With Jerry at the helm, we are not just aiming to reclaim our champion status. We are also looking to make sure that we're furthering our vision of elevating the reputation of Siena College, both regionally and nationally. And as was said, uh, we frequently say it is a great day to be a saint. It is, but it's also a great time to be a saint. And Siena College has recently been recognized as being in the top 3% of all colleges and universities in the United States by the Wall Street Journal. We are one of the top 10 Catholic colleges in the country, and we're the number one job for getting a school after, or getting a job after graduation three years in a row. We're also one of the 50 most beautiful campuses in the country. Um, so we're definitely on a college, uh, we are a college that's on the rise, evidenced by our program expansion and development. Uh, we are also um, continuing to develop our facilities. We're in the process of building a 55,000 square foot addition to our science facilities, and we're continuing to invest in our student experience. Jerry's role goes beyond the basketball court. Um, it will be a, con a catalyst for that continued ascent through the ranks as we increase our overall reputation. Um, it embodies our, our intention towards a broader recognition and the excellence that we seek in every interaction. Siena's basketball plays a major role unifying Siena's spirit among the community and the larger area and helping promote the story of new generations of saints. As we embark on this journey together, Jerry's guidance, we're not only pursuing wins and titles, we are pursuing wins and titles, but not just <laughs> wins and titles. Um, we're nurturing leaders, we're building community, and we're reaffirming our commitment to the Franciscan values that define us. The future of Siena Saints basketball and Siena College is bright, and we have all the confidence in the world in your success and leadership. Thank you. I do also want to congratulate and thank everyone that was involved in the search process. First and foremost, our Vice President and Athletic Director, John Dargenio. His guidance, his leadership, and his support are just unsurpassed and was absolutely critical to the success. So thank you for everything that you've done. And Jerry, thank you for embracing this challenge as well. We are looking forward to the opportunity to grow and nurture together. So thank you, Jerry. To our students, faculty, alumni, and fans, your unwavering support truly fuels our pursuit of excellence. In closing, I invite each and every one of you to join us on, a, on this exhilarating journey. Let's rally behind Coach McNamara and our Saints as we stride into the new era of Siena College basketball, rooted in our Franciscan mission and values that define our collective spirit. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Dr. Seifert. And I'd like to welcome up the Siena College Vice President and Director of Athletics, John Dargenio. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to this uh, great, fun, and celebratory day. I want to take a moment to thank Bob Belber and his staff, particularly Nate Sims, Anthony Pettigrasso, for being able to do this here today. Uh, we all know there was a little event going on behind us the past few days. 
So for you guys to do this, I, I truly appreciate it. I want to thank the MAC commissioner for being here. Uh, Travis is a great emerging leader in college sports, and we know he's committed to make the MAC better for its membership. Uh, of course, I want to thank Chuck for his, his wisdom and guidance throughout this process because it enabled a smooth landing. So thank you. Siena basketball's had a proud tradition in the capital region for many, many, many decades. It started in the 30s. A young man named Howie Tucker from Ravina enrolled at Siena, one of the first basketball players, first member of the Siena College Sports Hall of Fame. You know, the legacy in, in the program was nurtured in the 50s uh, by people like Father uh, Morris Fitzgerald, coach and athletic director Dan Kuna, who saw the value of Siena basketball. Uh, they played actually a lot of games right around the corner in the Washington Avenue Armory against teams like Oklahoma State and Texas A&M. They took the team down to Madison Square Garden to elevate the national profile. We won the National Catholic Invitational Tournament that Chuck mentioned. And along the way, had some top 12, top 20 rankings in the Associated Press. In the 70s, Bill Kirsch came back. He was a player on those teams in the 50s, brought Siena to Division I and helped us establish a foundation. And then in the 90s and then this century, there's been a lot of great moments that have put Siena on the national stage. Chuck mentioned some of them. You walk in this building, there's five NIT banners, including one that says finalist round, which revives Siena's tradition and history of going to MSG. There's a couple, there's one CBI postseason championship. There's seven conference NCAA tournament championships, including three that say second round. So Siena and its fan base in this area deserve more banners. The team deserves more banners. Everybody here deserves more banners. And we think we found the person to help us do that. Jerry's leadership was nurtured from the ground up in basketball. A player, a graduate assistant, not quite sure how that went, but I'm sure it was interesting assistant coach and associate head coach. So along the way, he's done the steps necessary now to add head coach to his title. We look forward to his leadership. We look forward to the basketball skill he's going to bring. More important, we look forward to the person that he brings, and we look forward to the family that he brings to Siena College. So now, Coach McNamara. Thank you. I can't uh, begin to explain how welcome we have felt since the moment we arrived yesterday uh, from the initial conversations that I've had with President Seifert. John made me feel welcome, explained the vision and direction you wanted to take the program. It aligned with me of how I am as a person, how I am as a father, family man. So to give me this opportunity, I'm so blessed, so honored. I understand the rich tradition here. I don't take it lightly. I was gonna, I wrote two uh, speeches today. <laughs> I was worried Roger was gonna get his hands on this one and tweet it out, so I... <laughs> So I try to throw him a curveball. You know, I, I've got to take this moment uh, really to thank so many people that I might not get a chance to thank publicly. Um, right here, my mom and dad, uh, who showed me, can you believe this? Four years of college, Syracuse travel all over the country, never miss a game. You know, I, when I think about being a parent I think about this right here, showed me the way. Um, my siblings, Timmy, Bridget, Maureen couldn't make it today, but by the time I entered college, I was the youngest of four, and I looked at three college gra graduates. Um, my mother-in-law, I have so much support in my life, so much love in my life. Uh, St. Margaret, as I like to call her. Um, the Haggerty family, my 
brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Daniel and Megan, who raided the bookstore, like President Seifert said yesterday. Um, coincidentally, as we were taking our tour and we were in the parking lot, Daniel and Megan <laughs> and Margaret pulled in at the same time as we were going through campus. Um, but I've just been molded by so many people that I feel like is partly the reason that I'm here today in this position as a head coach. Um, mainly in my coaching career, uh, my father started me in the game, but I had Teddy Bloom, who was his best friend, my grade school coach, who was a terrific person, probably my second father, if I had to pick one, uh, a terrific high school coach and John Bucci, both Teddy and Coach Bucci aren't with us today, and I know that they'd be smiling down, proud today. Um, and Coach Beheim, you know, probably had the biggest influence of me in terms of almost forcing me into coaching. <laughs> you know, uh, trying to get me back on his staff. Uh, someone that's meant the world to me, gave me a second opportunity after I got stopped playing. Um, I'm just so happy to have him in my life. Uh, Coach Mike Hopkins, who if I model anything, if I could say who I model the most as far as a coach, it'd be Hop. Um, and it's because of how he treats people. It's how I am. Pour into them, show them you care, spend the time with them. That's who I try to be. Uh, philosophically, we might think a little bit different, but as far as who we are as people, I'm so appreciative of him. He's still in my life to this day. Um, and then the Syracuse staff. You know, this past year, Pete Corsiniti, Ryan Bury, Brennan Strawn, Alan Griffin, uh, Mike Mangano, Ryan Kabilis, Ali Onion. This, this last year was really rewarding for me because I watched Adrian Autry, one of my great friends, transition from associate head coach to head coach, the same transition that I'm currently making. And to watch one of your best friends dive headfirst into that endeavor, never look back, confident to be through that process with him, I was so proud of him. But at the same time, it was really rewarding for me because I got a chance to take from it too. So to watch Red go through his process, for me to go through my process, I think for me to develop fully as a coach, I probably needed that. Uh, and I'm so proud of him. You know, he's gonna be 20 wins this year. He's gonna continue to be great. You know, regardless of what, I got a lot of Q's gear, man. I got a lot of it. So I told John, I was like, listen, I don't want to come in looking like a Syracuse billboard. Um, but the greatest thing about it is it's always going to be my alma mater, you know, above all else. So I'll always be able to put on a Syracuse shirt and don't judge me because at the end of the day, it's my alma mater and those are my guys. Um, and my agents, Brett, Cav, like just from, you know, being in the business and understanding me, being friends of mine, uh, leading me in a certain direction. Uh, just so thankful for them. And my kids, um, for being really brave. Brave because I know what, <laughs> Syracuse leaving us, us leaving is emotional. And it's an emotional time because we love where we are. We love the school district. You know, I came to Syracuse as a young man, as a player, but I'm leaving as a father of four. And that's, Regardless of what I did as a player, that's the most important thing that I've done in my life in that city. They helped raise my family. So for my kids, for being brave, and don't mistake it, we're going to make another great home here, and there's great people in this area. And to my wife, you know, as I was going through this process, and we had obviously started the conversations of maybe being in this position of being a head coach here, she said something. She's probably going to be surprised right now. So I don't know who watches, who's a golfer. I'm, I'm a big golfer. Um, full swing on Netflix. So what we typically do is we'll put our kids to bed and we'll like breathe a sigh of relief. Like, thank God, you know, maybe open a glass of wine, a bottle of wine, have a glass of wine. And we were watching full swing. So we started talking about the possibility of this coming to fruition. 
And we started talking about how emotional it will be. And she said to me, I'll take it. She doesn't realize it, but when she said it to me, she said, our happiness is simple. And the more I thought about it, as soon as she said it to me, I knew I was ready because she was right. I'm very simple. We're very simple. I love to coach basketball. I love the game. I love my family. I did an interview yesterday. I said, I'm pretty boring. I love hoop and I go home to them. But when she hit me with our happiness is simple, it simplified this whole process for me. We're leaving something behind, but together we're going to take on this new challenge. So can't even, I can't even look at you. I can't even look at you. Um, so, you know, obviously I've got a lot of people to thank, but I do want to address the fans, the alumni, the supporters. You know why I'm here. Anyone that knows me knows why I'm here. I'm here to win. Simple. That's who I am. I am here to win. It's all I've ever tried to do as a coach, a player. Every day I walk in the gym, it's with the intent to work to win. Did you see this place? I was here last night. What an environment. And I remember how it felt to play in it. I remember playing here. This place was rocking. <laughs> That's what I want. I chose Siena, and I'm thankful that I was offered Siena, but I chose here because of that. I'm leaving something where there was support, people cared, and there was a vision. I'm ready. You're ready. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out, I'm going to recruit, and I'm going to put together a roster that we feel like is compet competitive immediately. All right? What I want on your end, buy season tickets, bring your kids, show up, bring a friend. Because I promise every team that I put on the court will be prepared to play. That's my goal here. I'm here to win. I can't wait to get to work. I'm going to go get this team. I'm going to get my staff here. And you're right. It's a great day to be a saint. And I'm damn proud to be the coach here. I think I speak for Coach when I say that we're ready to and excited to start the McNamara here at Siena. And unless Patrick has anything to add, you have anything to add, or are you good? All right. Unless he has anything to add, I think we're all set. I want to thank all our viewers on uh, Siena All Access for joining us uh, today. Coach had mentioned season tickets, by the way, so I'll throw the plug out there. We are accepting deposits now on season tickets, siennasaints.com slash tickets, 487-2202, Siena tickets two at siena.edu. We'll make sure you know about, we got the credit cards ready to go. So thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us. They're up to the formal portion of today's press conference. Go Saints.